Warrior Cats has a ridiculous amount of books. Anywhere between 70 and 80 plus books depending on what you count as unique and separate. And there are 5 more books coming this year so it's only getting more crazy. So naturally, a lot of new fans are going to have a lot of trouble when trying to get caught up. They just want to jump into the action, but it's so, so hard. So I thought I'd make this tutorial on every Warrior book release to date, and the order you should read them in. First things first, let me introduce the 5 categories that the Warrior's books can be divided into. Category A, the main series. These books are the most basic and ongoing form of Warrior Cats. Each of these books are around 300 pages long, and they're divided into subsets of six, often referred to as story arcs. There are currently six complete story arcs, and one that is being worked on. So the main series currently has 40 books, and it will have 42 books by the end of 2021. And these books release two per year. Category B, Super Editions. These books are the big boys, each one around 500 pages long. Some of them heavily tie into the main series, while others only tie in a little. There are 13 of these, and there will be 14 by the end of 2021, as they get released once per year. Category C, Novellas. These books are the small ones, only about 100 pages long each. But when you purchase them, they are grouped into threes. There are six of these groups, or 18 total novellas. After 2021, there will be seven groups and 21 total novellas. Category D, Manga, or more recently they just call them graphic novels. Essentially, Warrior Cats comic books. Originally, we had four three-part stories and one one-part story, but recently they started releasing the three-part stories as one big book and in color. So taking a few re-releases in mind, we have four complete color stories with the fifth on the way in 2021, and four manga parts that were just never released in color. Category E, Field Guides. There are six total, but Enter the Clans is actually just Secrets of the Clans and Code of the Clans put together, so there's actually just five. Okay, so in this video, I'll be creating four routes to go by if you want to be caught up with the current Warrior Cats releases. Choose your route based on which statement applies to you the best. Feel free to mix and match or go off course if you want. And regardless of which one you choose, just know that the best starting place is always the Prophecies Begin, the first set of six Warriors books to be released. The timestamps on the screen can be used to jump to the part of the video that is most relevant to you. Now let's begin. Group 1. I just want to be caught up with the current books. So you just want to speedrun Warrior Cats, huh? Well, Category A books are your best friends. The main series books can easily be understood just by reading previous main series books. So if you want to be caught up with the Broken Code, the current main series books, you're just going to want to read them in the following order. Story Arc 1, The Prophecies Begin. Story Arc 2, The New Prophecy. Story Arc 3, Power of Three. Story Arc 4, Omen of the Stars. Story Arc 6, A Vision of Shadows. And finally, Story Arc 7, The Broken Code. Story Arc 5 is skipped here because they are prequels and they are not relevant to the current books. And once you get all these main series books done, you can pretty much read the rest however you please. But if reading 34 books is too much for you, then here's a spicy alternative. Arc 1, Arc 7. Arc 1 teaches you what Warrior Cats is, and Arc 7 is the current books. Not recommended, but if you absolutely need to go fast, then there you go. If you do this, just make sure you have a friend who will answer your many questions. Group 2. I want to be caught up and know the full story behind the current books. Well, you better be prepared for a lot of reading because the full story is quite long. First up, you want to read All the Prophecies Begin in the New Prophecy, and you'll want to read Firestar's Quest next as to give some backstory on Power of Three and eventually A Vision of Shadows. Next, you want to read Power of Three and Omen of the Stars. Their stories go together, so it's best to get them in one go. Then the novella Dovewing's Silence, which is effectively the epilogue to Omen of the Stars. Bramble Star Storm bridges the gap between Omen of the Stars and A Vision of Shadows, but you can skip it if you're in a rush. Then you read A Vision of Shadows, which will be broken up by two super editions, Huckwing's Journey after Book 1 and Tigerheart's Shadow after Book 4. These provide a bunch of context that is super relevant to the A Vision of Shadows storyline. Next you want to read Squirrel Flight's Hope, as that book is very important to the Broken Code story arc. And finally, you want to read Broken Code 1 through 4, Grey Stripes Vow, and then when they release, Broken Code 5 and 6. And that will get you caught up and knowing all the relevant information to fully understand the current books. Group 3. I just want to read the books that people talk about. Well, first things first, the prophecies begin is where most people start, so just go ahead and start with that too. Afterwards, go directly to the new prophecy, that story arc introduces a lot of characters that are relevant to discussion. 
After that, I'd say go for the Blue Stars Prophecy Super Edition. From what I've seen, it's definitely the most read Super Edition. Lots of Blue Star discussion in the fandom. And you'll also want to read the most read manga, The Rise of Scourge. This one is super short and can be easily finished in one sitting. And Scourge is a very popular character, so no reason not to. Then I'd say head into Power of Three, lots of drama to be found there. Then the Leaf Pulse Wish novella should be your next go-to, as it gives a lot of context on subjects in Power of Three that are hot topics of debate. After that, jump straight into Omen of the Stars. And after that, you have some work to do before jumping back into the main books. Very important, we have the Maple Shade's Vengeance novella. People cannot shut up about Maple Shade. This is by far the most popular novella, and it's also very controversial. A must read for fandom discussion. Other novellas that are optional will be Goosefeather's Curse and Ravenpaw's Farewell. They have popularity due to them being sold in a bundle with Maple Shade's story, but they aren't talked about nearly as much, so don't worry if you miss them. The novella you don't want to miss is Hollyleaf's story. The fandom loves Hollyleaf. And finally for the novellas, you're going to want to read Dovewing's Silence. It gives much needed information about what happens after the ending to Omen of the Stars. Two super editions that are optional will be Crooked Star's Promise and Tall Star's Revenge. They are both topics of discussion for different reasons, but they are both a bit long, so if you're in a rush you may want to come back to them after you've read The Broken Code. So next up you just want to read the full Vision of Shadows story arc. Optional content will be Tigerheart's Shadow after reading Book 4, but that's only if you're interested in Devwing and Tigerheart. Next up, the Squirrel Fight's Hope Super Edition is incredibly important. It's both a source of controversial discussion and explains a huge part of Warrior Cat's lore. If you only read one Super Edition, make it this one. Then finally, you arrive at the current books, The Broken Code. You'll just want to jump in and read all of them, however many are released at the time you get this far. Group 4. I want to read everything! Oh, so you're feeling a bit spicy and up for a challenge. Well, lucky for you, this one's actually a lot more simple than the ones where you skip a bunch because, you know, you don't actually have to decide which books to skip, because you're not skipping any of them. The best order, in my opinion, is just going by the order the book's released in. But at the same time, you don't want your major story arcs to be broken up too much, so I am going to go out of release order for the sake of those. Let's have ourselves a list. Arc 1, The Prophecies Begin, and Arc 2, The New Prophecy, then Super Editions, Firestar's Quest, and Blue Star's Prophecy, and Mangas, The Rise of Scourge, and the Tiger Star and Sasha Trilogy. Arc 3, Power of Three, then Mangas, Grey Stripes Adventure, and Ravenpaw's Path. Read the color versions. Super Edition, Sky Clan's Destiny, and Manga, Sky Clan, and the Stranger. Again, get it in color. Arc 4, Omen of the Stars, then Super Editions, Crooked Star's Promise, and Yellowfang's Secret. In the first novella collection, The Untold Stories. Then the prequel arc, Arc 5, Dawn of the Clans. And then you have three super editions to get to. Tall Star's Revenge, Bramble Star's Storm, and Mothflight's Vision. In the second and third novella collections, Tales from the Clans and Shadows of the Clans. Then Arc 6, A Vision of Shadows. You want to read Hawkwing's Journey after Book 1 and Tigerheart's Shadow after Book 4. And after Book 6, Squirrelflight's Hope. And then you have two more novella collections to get your hands on, Legends of the Clans and Path of a Warrior. Make sure to get Crowfeather's Trial in there somewhere. And there's a graphic novel called A Shadow in River Clan too. Finally, Arc 7, The Broken Code. After Book 4 you should read Greystripe's Vow. And when you're done with The Broken Code, you have two more novella collections to get. A Warrior's Spirit, which released last year, and A Warrior's Choice, which will release in April of 2021. Also releasing in 2021? We have Broken Code 5 in April, a new graphic novel, Winds of Change, in June, a new super edition, Leopard Star's Honor, in September, and finally, Broken Code 6 in November. But you might notice I left one category of books out of this list. Category E, Field Guides. Honestly, you should just read these whenever you want. I'd do them at the end, but it's your choice. Just be mindful of the release date as they will spoil books that released before them. Alright, that concludes all that craziness. Remember that at the end of the day, these are just guides and you are welcome to read them in whatever order you please. No one can stop you. And with that I say, happy reading. Bye everyone!